wife was going to have another baby, there was not enough food. But Ole had plenty of wood. His village was filled with trees. He used wood to make furniture. Then he started to build toys. The heading says, a great idea. Ole went around selling his wooden toys. Many years passed. He made money. Ole started making plastic toys. Ole's son, Godfred, remember, I don't know how to read that word, but the author tells me how to read it. So if I use these letters and sounds, it'll help me get his name. So I think his name is Godfred. Ole's son, Godfred, grew up. He worked with his dad. Godfred wanted to make plastic blocks that snap together. Kids could use them to build things. Ole loved the idea. They called them Lego bricks. In 1958, they made one of the first Lego sets. It was called Town Plan. This heading says a big hit. Lego bricks have been a big success. There are more than 400 billion Lego bricks. There are also Lego theme parks, movies, video games, and more. But the idea behind Lego bricks has stayed the same. It has been the same since Ole and his son made wooden toys. The idea is even, I'm rereading that, the idea is even part of the name Lego. The word Lego comes from the Danish term legut, and it means play well. Hi everyone, what's up? Hi. Hi. What's happening? Wonder Dog of the Week. You are? Oh, happy Wonder Dog of the Week. Do you want to take it? Sure, just throw it on my desk. Okay. Don't throw it on my desk. Set it on my desk. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Brianna, what was your job while I was reading the story? Ryan. Brianna, what was your job? What were you supposed to be doing? Talking to the easy words. Yes. Which color were we going to concentrate on? Pink. The pink ones. Did anybody do that? Mm -hmm. Welcome back. What'd you notice, Emmett? Um, that every pink um, word, it doesn't say this, it says N. Okay, now, we're not going to just take his word for it. We're going to double check it. He thinks every pink word that has an E-D says Ed, instead of just the. Let's see if he's right. God said Ed. Then he starred Ed. Start Ed. Oh, you got that one right. Then he started to build toys. Oli started making plastic toys. Godfred want Ed to make plastic blocks that snap together. And those are our pink ones. Start Ed, Ed started and want it. So far, it sounds like he might be right. Okay? But names don't really work that way. Okay? They just don't. So, first grade, this is what we're going to do. Let's go back to the chart we made to begin with and see if any of our words have ed for an ed ending. Tension? Lights? You already think there is one? I think I'm going to get a pink so it matches what we know from our story that will help us keep everything straight. Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Not right now. All right, so our first batch of words, we figured out that the ED said duh, and we underlined them with orange. Our second batch of words, we think that the ED might say ed. Let's see some of those. Okay, that's an orange one. Illustrated. Okay. Start Ed. Yes. Dropped. No. Laughed. No. Stopped. No. Shouted. Yes. Raced. No. Looked. No. Jumped. No. Landed. Pushed, no. jumped, no. walked, no. boxed, no. looked, no. jumped, no. asked, no. Yes. Did you, asked, no, because no. No, 
because it would have to be asked. Did. That's not a word. Asked. No. no. Bumped. No. Stepped. No. Shouted. Yes. Did I get them all? Okay, so my thinking is that Emmett hit it right on the head. I think now we have to be careful of those ED endings because sometimes they sound like this D and sometimes they sound like an ed. Now you told me what that means for you when you're a reader. When you're a reader, you're going to have to be flexible. And if asked doesn't make sense, you might have to switch it to one of the other ED endings until it makes sense. Okay? What does it mean for you when you're writing? What if I'm writing the word illustrated? What if I'm writing the word started? What does that mean for you when you're trying to write those words and you hear an ed at the end of a word? What does it mean for you? Mrs. Lipo, can you have them try to talk to each other and see what they say? Yeah. Talk Why to don't each you other. do that? Talk to the person sitting right. What does Let it me mean? say the question one more time. Well, Listen. how about if we have someone repeat the question? Okay. What do we want you to be thinking about? Who knows how to say it so that your friends can understand the question? Because I honestly know that more than two people know the answer and only two people had their hands up. Yeah. What yeah, do you well, nice and loud. Pretend you're the teacher. Tell them the question. Um, the question was, um, you're supposed to, um, tell, um, you, um, how, what you're supposed to do when you're reading. Okay. I mean writing. Yep. Writing. Absolutely. Who can say it again? What is, what, are, what is the question? Who can say it again? Go ahead. You go. Um, if, if it doesn't sound like when you're reading or when you're or, or writing and you can just try it again. I like that you got the reading part down put. If you're reading and you tried one of the ED ways and it doesn't sound right, try a different ED way. Be flexible, right? Okay. All right. So what you're talking to your friends with right now, the person sitting right next to you, is when you're writing, what does your brain voice when you're writing, what does your brain have to do when you hear an ED sound or an ed sound at the end of a word you're trying to write? Tell your neighbor. What are you thinking? 